Externalities are costs and benefits that impact someone other than the producer or the consumer of a good or service. There are two types of externalities, negative and positive. If you live in a city, you will receive some positive externalities, for example, public utilities such as water, electricity, and even Wi-Fi connection. On the same note, in a city you will have more opportunities to study and find a job than the chances you get in the countryside. Other positive externalities would be infrastructure development, e.g. the construction of a road which opens a new area for housing, commercial development, tourism, etc. Also, research and development, which increases the private profits of a company, but also has the added benefit of increasing the general no level of knowledge within a society. On the other hand, negative externalities also arise. For instance, the different kinds of environmental pollution. This would include air pollution. Let's say a factory burns fossil fuels to produce goods. The people living in the nearby area suffer from the deteriorating air quality. Water pollution, for instance, chemicals dumped by an industrial plant into a lake may kill fish and plant life and affect the livelihood of fishermen and farmers nearby. Furthermore, noise pollution. People living near a large airport suffer from high noise levels. Traffic congestion would be another example of a negative externality. The more people that use cars on roads, the heavier the traffic congestion becomes. Now, you might ask, how do we overcome externalities? There are solutions that exist to overcome the negative effects of externalities. The internalization of the externalities is the process of adopting policies that will limit the effect of the externalities on unrelated parties by factoring in the cost of the externality. Generally, the internalization is achieved through government intervention. Ideally, defining property rights will solve the adverse effect of externalities. A strict definition of property rights can limit the influence of economic activities on unrelated parties. However, it is not always a viable option, since the ownership of particular things such as air or water cannot be clearly assigned to a particular agent. Secondly, taxes. A government may impose taxes on goods or services that create externalities. The taxes would discourage activities that impose costs on unrelated parties. An example would be increasing the cost of water to companies so that they will have to be more efficient in using that resource. And subsidies. A government can also provide subsidies to stimulate certain activities. The subsidies are commonly used to increase the consumption of goods with positive externalities. One example would be to subsidize orchards that plant fruit trees to provide positive externalities to beekeepers. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, please subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Created using Powtoon.